Buenos dias, Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know, like a smack at it, right? And today I wanted to talk about something different. You know, I wanted to talk about something that involves me. You know, everyone always says, gun, gun, you're always talking about uh, other cities or, or other homeboys or other spills. And what about you, right? Well, let me give you a little rundown about me and uh, my situation, right? Um, situation goes like this. I could have easily, easily been just like everyone else watching YouTube, not paying attention to nothing around me, going to work, man, just taking care of my children, doing what I do. Right. But you know, I've always been one of those people, man, that my voice is going to be heard. Right. If I got something to speak on, so I'm going to fucking speak on it. And in that fashion, um, I'm not a scary individual. Far from it, you know. You got a lot of cats. Hey, I'll fight Gunner. Let's fight Gunner. Gun get in fucking line, bro. There's a fucking line from here to New York City. You know what I mean? Get a rope. And in that fashion. Um, I've never been one to turn down fades. I've never been one to go out there and and, and promote, you know what I mean? Me wanting to fucking fades and and hey man, that's not me, man. I'm just trying to kick back, do my thing, take care of my children, my family. And at the end of the day, man, if something comes my way that's lucrative, somebody wants to fucking see me and it benefits the people, it's for the people, then we can make it happen quite possibly. You know what I mean? As far as fucking people that I know won't show up or show out or people that fucking are just talking, eh, bah, well, and, and in that fashion, get the fuck, get the fuck away from me, right? And I mean, stay in Milwaukee, orale, and in that fashion. But trip out, Um, with that being said, um, I just want to give you an inside look into the type of person I am. You know, uh, I've always been a righteous friend. Not necessarily a homeboy, a camarada, a dog, a perro, a fucking, uh, a, a, a carnal, a bro, um, but a friend, right? And that's evident to the people that I still have around me from 30, 35, 40 years ago. You know, that were my friends back then and remains, remain as such. Um, I don't burn a lot of bridges. You know, I don't burn a lot of bridges. But I did want to touch on, on one thing, you know. Uh, you know, because a lot of people have been asking me, well, what's going on with, with Toro, King T, right? <clears throat> and I don't like to speak on certain situations. You know, I like to leave things swept under the rug. If that doesn't involve me, man, let's leave it like that. But in, in when people are asking me questions... And it pertains to me, you know, and, and what I got to say, this is what it is. Now, I said a long time ago, man, for anyone that's ever watched my spills from the beginning, when I had my other channel before I got the cancelization was fucking real, right? I've always said that I don't give second chances. See, because there never was a first one. Let me give you the rundown on that. See, I was taught a long time ago, man. And, and I soak game. You know, I soak knowledge. When motherfuckers give me the game... I'm not one of those, it don't go in one ear, so I got a lot of earwax. It stays in there, right? And I retain it. My iCloud, homie, hey, my CD-ROM downloads it. You feel me? And 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 I grasp and I take from it what it is, you know? And uh, a long time ago, a well-laced individual told me, he says, I don't give second chances. And I said, well, why is that? You know, everyone deserving of a second chance. He says, because there never was a first one. He said, when you meet someone and you embrace them, man, you like their stilo, it's all good. It's all love right from the gate. It's not a first chance, bro. It's no chance in it. It's just all love from the gate. And when they fuck it up, they always want to come to you talking about, let me get a second chance. Charlie, there never was a first one, right? It was all love from the gate. You fucked that off. You got to deal with that. That's on you. So a lot of people have been asking me about King T, Little Toro, right? And just like anyone else, man, I haven't known this individual for a long time. You know, I heard his music. I listened to his music. I knew there was shit going on with him as far as the active Norteños and that he wasn't in good standings and whatever the case may be. But I don't look at a person gang related. See, I don't look at a person if they're active, if they're non-active. I got homeboys from all sides, man. Like I said, I got homeboys that are Norteños active, homeboys that are non-active. I got homeboys that are dropouts. I got homeboys that are fucking from down south that are non-active, that are fully functioning down south. I got homeboys that are bulldogs that are with the business. And I got motherfuckers that ain't with the business, right? And a friend is a friend. You know, as long as they've never done me wrong and they've kept it righteous in the eyes of the gun gun, well, guess what? Bang, motherfucking, bang, bang. I'm going to ride to the ends of the earth with them cats, 
because I know they'll do the same for me. Okay, so when it came across my plate that uh, uh, that little Toro was extending his hand, he was reaching out, man, it was all love. He liked my spills. He liked what the, the, you know, the narrative that the gun was rocking, you know, as far as the unity for the raza, the prosperity of the people, you know, the things I push, um, which ain't bullshit. Quite contrary to what a lot of you motherfuckers may think, man, um, I'm here for the people, by the people. You know, if the people don't want to see me, well, the people can let that voice be heard. But until that day, guess what? I'm going to keep rocking that motherfucking good rhyme for the hint there. But anyways, uh, in any case, um, I took to the bottle. You know, I seen his plight, man. And I heard a lot of different stories about him. Hey, this is what's going on with him over here. And, 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 you know, I met the individual, man. I got to talking to him on the phone, man. He seemed righteous, you know, and I always give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, I give him the benefit of the doubt. I give him the love right off top. Man, I don't see it for what it was, man. Hey, hey, people are speaking. You ain't got to explain yourself to me, bro. Who am I for you to explain yourself to me, right? At the same time, man, I would think that as a homeboy or trying to come become acquainted with someone, man, that you would put a righteous fucking spill out there just like everything I put out there about me is fucking facts. And you can stamp that, right? Or ask people and they'll tell you. Ain't no fucking sugar coating. I said a long time ago, I don't add added preservatives to the Kool-Aid. So I was scared. It is what it is. No sugar. Thumb but this is sour gun. Well, then fucking I'll hold. You know what I mean? It's just the way it is. So when I started getting at this individual, uh, Little Toro, it was all good. You know, I embraced him. It was all love. He embraced me. Um, he, welcomed, he welcomed me to his home, you know, with open arms, man, and all love and respect. And hey, and I reciprocated that right back, man. His familia and still respects for his familia. Uh, and him too as a person, but not as an individual. And I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you why. You know, why I am the way I am. That I'm not a cutthroat individual that goes talking behind motherfuckers' backs. You know what I mean? I'm going to state facts. So, um, it was all love, man. We worked together on a song, man. He, you know, he looked out for the gun gun on that Pinta, uh, Pinta Bound remix. And, uh, you know, he went the extra mile, you know, and I tried to get him involved in the fight card and, and, you know, there was ups and downs. And I started to notice, even when I went to visit him, that the, the Vato has some type of mental problems, right? And it's not his fault. You know, I don't know if fucking something happened, something was in the water that he drank, or fucking he ate some bad manudo, right? Whatever the case may be, man, the guy's uh, pretty paranoid, right? But that doesn't mean that he couldn't be my homeboy, that I wasn't going to stand righteously beside him in battle. Because just because a motherfucker's a little J caddish don't mean shit. You know what I mean? Sometimes I get a little J caddish. And in that fashion, right? Everyone got a little cat in them. But at the same time, everyone got a little dog in them too. And, the, and sometimes the fucking bite is worse than the bark. You feel me? And uh, the Vata just seemed a little odd to me, but it was cool. Like I said, I was still rocking with him. We was rocking the good rhyme. And uh, as you can see by my live that I had posted up, which I took down now, because I don't want no affiliations with this character. This would be the last time that I speak on him. That's why I'm giving him his own spill. See? Look, I'm giving you your own spill. There you go. Bang, bang. Right? Um, I never once came at this character sideways. You know, I never once addressed him in an improper manner. Um, what I did say, you know, when I found out uh, what was going on with him was I was flabbergasted. Word of the day. Flabbergasted. Indubitably. Right? Because it was brought to my my attention, you know, and in, in life, man, paperwork is what counts in this life we live, you know, uh, in any life, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a fucking citizen, a criminal, arch criminal, you're part of an organization, you're active, you're non-active, you're functioning, you're active and you function, you know what I mean? Well, God bird or fucking whatever you are, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, paperwork is what is real and true, right? And you know what I mean? I, it's not I'm not my it's not my fucking first fucking uh ranchero. It's not my first merry-go-round, bro. This ain't my first time riding a motherfucking bull, Hamza. You know what I mean? So I was scared, I'm a motherfucking bull rider, bro. You know what I mean? I've been doing my thing. And uh when I see a motherfucking paperwork, I could tell the difference from some made up fucking chopped and screwed ass paperwork to the real official shit, you know? I've been privy to see both. And uh, like I said, man, I ain't new to this, I'm true to this. I've been doing this. This is the gun. You know what I mean? This is the juice. I gave you silk suits and Gucci bags and blue dot. Orderly. But look, see the paperwork, man. And it says that this individual, man, did some very unrighteous stuff with the minor. I ain't going to get into the details. But let's just say it was under a 14-year-old. And in that fashion, right? Now, as the moment I seen this, you know, there was no slander. There was no defamation of character. There was no shitting on the individual. I just distanced myself, right? 
And of course, the viewers notice everything, you know? And, and a lot of respect, man. A lot of gratitude goes to the viewers out here in YouTube Landia. As Mike says, man, from Selena's report. Shout out to the homeboy. A real one. Um, That paperwork don't lie, man. And when you see it, and it's someone that you've taken kind to, man. Someone that you've taken near and dear to your heart. Someone that you're rocking with, you know, regardless of what people were saying. You know, there was a lot of people in my DMs, you know, hey, he's no good. He's no good. He's no good. And, I, and still, I rocked with the individual. And I and I rock with a lot of individuals because, hey, what, hey, I'm not the type to, just because you're pressing up on me, telling me who's good and who's not good. Charlie, bro, I, you know what? Hey, I got to see for myself. I got to see it to believe it, you know. And I'm not going to judge a character just based on innuendos or rumors or whatever the fuck is out there in the world, because I know, man, that a lot of fucking individuals have been done dirty, you know, or spoken upon in a bad nature, in an incorrect fashion, you feel me, but when I seen paperwork that, and I wasn't asking, I wasn't, I, I was searching, I go searching every, nah, Charlie, I wasn't on no fucking Cheech and Chong bullshit, right, when the motherfuckers brought it to my attention, and I seen it, black and white, my own eyes, right there, palabra, PW, Hey, beep, 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 boop, boop, minor. And I seen this. Like I said, the only word I could say is flabber fucking gasted, right? And upset. Not upset with the individual. Upset with myself for getting the wolf. Pay no attention to the wolf that's over there doing crazy things with minor. I didn't know, right? And I felt some type of way. Not towards him, but towards myself forever identifying and rocking with him. Because that put me in the bad light, right? And so I didn't address him. I ceased all correspondence. I ceased all uh, 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 getting at him. Phone number. So okay. You want to settle the score? C4 at your door. No phone number. No more. Right? Bang. Beep. Bada boop. 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 You know? And am I going to say, oh, he's a shady character. He's a bad individual. No. As a man, he's taking care of his family. As a man, he's doing what he did. And maybe that was a mistake that he made in his past. But Sabasque, homeboy, from me to you, it's a mistake that you cannot make. Right? And, uh, you know, next thing you know, uh, people are asking me questions on the lives or whatever. Hey, gun, gun. Hey, what's up with you and this guy? Hey, what's up? You know, and I'm and I'm not the type, anyone that knows me, man. Yeah, there's a lot of characters that talk about. We go tit for tat. We go back and forth. At the end of the day, it is what it is. It's YouTube drama. It ain't going to amount to shit, man. Because in real life, motherfuckers don't want to see it. I guarantee you, right? That's the word, Mockingbird. But um, I didn't even want to address it, you know. Like I said, I was trying to stray away from it. People asked me. And uh, I'm not going to never hold nothing back from the people as far as what's going on. Because people notice, you know, motherfuckers are smart out there. You know, so I just had to bring it to people's attention. Like, check it out. This is what it is. This is the business. This is what's going on with old boy. Right? And um, and that was it. You know, it wasn't like I put the full spill out there. And even even now, I'm still not telling, you know, the full spill. I could say it's Google. What the? You know, these individuals found it just like you could find it. You know, just like I could find it. And I, believe me, I doubled back on them. With real, I hit them with that Mazda shit. Let me go ahead and double back on them. You know what I mean? And so that's where I lead to, I did what I could do. You know what I mean? I couldn't beat the fool up. Couldn't put the Mac on him. Did the only thing the gun could do. And I turned my back on him. Right? Righteously so. Because see, in this lifetime, there's a lot of things that I can let go. Okay? But that, uh, for what he's accused of and for what he took a deal on, I can't. Okay? You know, I've had I've had homeboys, man, uh, that have been accused of some, some unsavory shit, right? And I watched them fight that motherfucker to the gaha. They took it to the box, bro, and beat the case. And with that right there was just enough to let me know, man, that he was a fucking individual willing to go and put his whole life on the line because he was righteously in the right. You know, and I rock with them. But if you take a deal on some shit like that, now if you're accused doesn't mean you're guilty, right? But if you take a deal, Sasuke, oh, I'm going to plead no contest, give me probation. I mean, I didn't do it, but I'll plead no, nah. Something like that, you don't fucking plead no contest. You plead not guilty. And first, first and foremost, you don't even find yourself in that position. Okay, and I don't care if there was other, well, all the homeboys did it. Well, all the homeboys are fucking chumos, period. Whoever was involved that night in that fucking specific incident you know what i mean it is what it is and if their fucking road doesn't take the same road as yours and they're still wiggling and you're not well spencer homie you just got caught and and that's what it is you know what i mean but um 
I just wanted to put it and bring it to the people's attention because everyone's asking me, you know, Gun, why aren't you fucking with this cat? Gun, he's talking bad about you. And he, yeah, I know. Hey, Gun's a snake in the grass. Why I'm a snake in the grass? Because I don't fuck with you no more. I invited you to my house. Look how you treat me. Hey, when you invited me to your house, I treated you with the utmost respect. I treated your family with the utmost respect. And now that I'm not at your house, and now that I know what's going on, I just won't be going back to your house. It's still respect for your familia. It's no fucking respect for you. That's just what it is. But am I going to sit here and run my mouth and disrespect you? Charlie, this is one and done. Because that's all you're worth is a one and done. Um, You know? And it's a cold game, man. Like I said... Well, I, I opened my arms to you. No, homeboy, I opened my arms to you. Remember, you were teetering on the brink of insanity, homie. I was the one wiggling around this motherfucker. You know what I mean? I try to help you out. You know what I mean? This is the motherfucking thanks I get. Come on now. Let's, let's be real. So, that's what's going on with Little Toro. That's what's going on with King T or, you know, whatever he calls himself. I'm not going to sit here and slander the man. Furthermore, I'm not going to fucking sit here and tell you the specifics to his case. I could just say in my eyes and a lot of other individuals around me, it's very unsavory, you know? And I know people are just, well, what about this? Or what about that? I don't give a fuck about none of that, bro. All I care about is this motherfucker touched the kid. That's all I care about. Okay, done. I'm going to go ahead and lean left and lean back. You know what I mean? And I'm just not going to have no willings and dealings with that individual. Does that make it unrighteous for anyone to deal with them? Handle your business. Do what you got to do so I can make sure your kids are, you know what I mean, accounted for. But I'm just saying, you know, at the end of the day, do that, you know? And, uh, you know, all this, well, I want to fight you, God. I want to do this. Bro, I'm not never, ever, ever, homie, going to give you my energy, bro. You ain't never got that coming. You know what I mean? You are a very unsavory character in the eyes of the world, bro. Not in the eyes of an ex-gang member, in the eyes of a convict, or in the eyes of a, a fucking D.O., or in the eyes of a rat, or in the eyes of a fucking... You're unsavory in the eyes of fucking the lowest form of scum there is. Even those motherfuckers, some of them, ain't did what you did. You know what I mean? When it's all said and done. So, I myself have never been put in that position, and don't intend on ever being put in that position, because I like women not kids you know so at the end of the day man that's it right there that's what's going on that's the spill i'm not doing this for views if you view it or not it is what it is obviously you're are, you are viewing it so you know where i'm coming from um and anyone that agrees with this vato's impression of what he's trying to push out there as far as the guns of snake this and that oh man i would be on fucking paperwork this i'd be on paper you are vato you're in the newspaper you know what i mean Dispense on la tira con permiso on la fuck is for me. Like they yell out, bro. You're there. I didn't want to believe it, but seeing is believing, bro. You know, and I was told by a lot of characters, man, a lot of good people that I respect. God, what are you doing fucking with this cat? And I said, man, you know, I got to give the little homie the benefit of the remember I said that, the little homie. The benefit of the doubt, right? And um when it was all said and done, shame on me. Like George Bush says, shame on you twice. And that motherfucker didn't even know what he was saying. And I don't even know that thing. But I just know shame on me. You know, for ever dealing with the caliber of individual that that was. Am I going to sit here, I said, after today and speak on it? Charlie, it's done. Deal with me. If anyone brings it up, I'm going to, hey, walk on by. Orale, menudo. You know what I mean? I'm just going to shine it on because, like I said, the energy is not worth it. You know, at the end of the day, people ask me about what? SPM. Hey, go, do you listen to SPM? Fuck no. You know what I mean? But, hey, I heard he didn't do it. Well, guess what? The judge and the fucking jury and everyone else said otherwise. So until he fucking beats that case and gets his get-backs or something, I ain't rocking with him, right? Now, who am I? I'm just a regular individual, bro. I have my own a, a, I have my own reasoning behind it. I could do whatever I want, bro, just like you could do whatever you want. If you want to bu bump SPM, handle it. The Vato can rap, right? It just ain't going to pump out of my speakers just based on I have my beliefs. There's certain beliefs I'm going to stick to, and that's just what it is. As a man, as a human, this is what I believe in, you know? Everyone's entitled to their own thing. So now when it comes to King T, Little Toro, whatever the fuck you want to call him, the brave bull, trip out. It just ain't for me no more, you know? This Spencer Humps, I lost a friend. You know what I mean? I'm in mourning right though. I'm in mourning. But guess what? I wake up the next morning and I'm not no more. You know what I mean? Because I think about that kid and what that what happened there you know what i mean it's just an ugly situation at the end of the day man it is what it is man i hope that you move fast with a purpose you got everything coming to you that's called hustling man this riffraff and these weird ass characters man 
I do not condone. You know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And I don't give a fuck who feels a certain way, man. If you don't like the gun because the gun don't fuck with weirdos, well, then it is what it is, man. Go and pump his good rhyme. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, over here in Gun's Playhouse, we're going to do it like this. Bang, bang. And in that fashion, the gun.